So business credit is non-existent for the most part if there is no personal credit, right? Mm -hmm. There are ways to gain access to business funding. Business credit is ultimately where your business is afforded the opportunity to leverage someone else's money, OPM, other people's money, right? Mm -hmm. But to truly maximize the amount of business credit anyone, any company can get, the person is going to personally guarantee for their, for their particular business, but they have to have great personal credit in order to do so. Mm, okay. Right? So there, there's levels. Yeah. For, for step one, secure your personal credit. And then step two, yeah. once you have strong personal credit, how do you then establish business credit? So the, the first thing I would tell anyone is to make sure that their business is structured properly. A okay. few things to think about having a, a website course, having a business phone number, having some kind of commercial building or a virtual address uh, for their particular business, or even having a registered agent that can you can utilize their address, right? Getting your EIN number, um, setting up your secretary of state, whatever state you decide to um, do business in. If it's virtual, you have options. If you're doing business virtually, 100% solely or even 90% or 80%, then you have options in which state you're going to pretty much uh, get your business recognized in. Another thing is actually getting a domain where you can say, my business is rich before 50. And then I have rich before 50.com as my website, mm -hmm. right? Or dot net or dot org. Those are other alternatives, but generally in someone's search engine, they're looking for a dot com, right? Yeah. So being able to have the domain. Um, and then after that is uh, ultimately setting up a business bank account. When you start talking about using other people's money, you have to have a relationship with those other uh, with the banks that are going to give you the money. And so typically I get from clients, you know, what's the best bank to get, Chris? Or they'll call me rich because that's my Instagram name. Um, and I say that go by. <laughs> right. You can call me rich. <laughs> call me rich is good. Um, but I would tell anybody you want to start on a local level because they're uh, they have exclusive amount of, they have an exclusive amount of people that they can target to and that they can lend money to. And mm -hmm. so if you have a local credit union, they can't loan to somebody, you know, 2000 miles away. They can only loan to that community. Right. So find a, a local bank that offers business line products or business loan products. Right. Secondary to that is then go find a regional bank like your U S banks or your uh, PNC or things, banks that are, you know, covers a large region. Mm -hmm. And then you can attack those national banks. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the M4 show and our mission to increase the wealth of black families. If you received any value from this episode, any value at all, any, 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 do us a favor and give us a like and subscribe on YouTube and Apple, Spotify, all anything, them. all of them, all, all, them. all of them, wherever you're listening, <laughs> go ahead and like and subscribe. And after you like and subscribe, make sure you send this episode to at least one family that you really want to see win. We'll catch y'all next time. Peace.